Hi everybody, we're here with Luna, representing Poland this year on Eurovision at the London Eurovision Party. Hello, how are you feeling? Hello, I'm really good, really excited about tonight. I'm also excited, I'm going to see everybody's performance. Last year I, I was on Eurovision and I performed here, so this is a really amazing, amazing stage. You're going to have so much fun. Um, how did your song come about, like the title and what does it mean? So the song, I wrote it uh, actually in the UK, in London. So that's that's very nice to be here because I wrote it with uh, Paul Dixon, with Five and Max Cook here in London last year. And uh, it was inspired mainly by the tarot card, the tower. And also it was inspired by um, my... Uh, just just about my emotions my life and the struggle that i had last year in my life and the song is the lyrics are about uh freedom and and about uh just the struggle that you take to reach your dreams and also to to just to follow your destiny and it's about um discovering your inner power your inner strength uh it's about discovering that you built your own reality, you built your own world, and it's all act of creation. So what you create, like you reap what you sow. So you need to, you need to be, uh, you need to be just courageous to, to build the life that you want to live. I really like that. I like the tarot inspiration, actually. But do you, did you have this song when you, were, you, you guys were writing it? Did you have Eurovision in mind or was it like a song that you made and then you just applied for Eurovision? No, I wrote it especially for the Eurovision because I last year I felt that it may be my path, that I feel that <laughs> next year uh, I may have a chance to go to Eurovision. Luckily, it happened. So um, when I was preparing to go to the studio, I, I had already a thought about the Eurovision song, and I, I knew what kind of emotions, what kind of message I wanna, I wanna give the people. So uh, first, I had some lyrics in my mind, and then we wrote it really, really quick, actually, because we wrote it like in three hours, something like that. Oh, I love songs like that. Yeah, because it means that. That's it. I always like follow the intuition, this your inner voice, my inner voice. That that's the moment. That's the that's the song. That's that's this phrase. Do, do you think that's like the secret then to a good Eurovision song? Like, because um, I also know from songwriting, like if I write it, you know, as you said, in three hours or like five minutes, or like, I know that that's good. If I torture myself too much with songwriting, then I kind of like push it away so do you think that like instantness of songwriting and having that inspiration outright is good for Eurovision like that makes a good Eurovision song I believe so I mean there's no one solution for the Eurovision hit because we never know what's gonna like move the people uh, it's just a huge surprise we never know but for me I think it's it's really important just to go with this creative flow just to follow your voice and when you feel it, you just feel it, right? Is is your performance, like the staging, going to reflect that songwriting process? Like, is it going to reflect the meaning behind the lyrics uh, aesthetically? And, um, you know, I know you have a music video. And is it going to be similar? Or what, 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 can you tell us, like, a little bit about, like, what, what will the performance look like? Yes, I really want to uh, tell a story with my performance. So, um... I'm gonna show this whole struggle actually that uh, I went with and that we all actually have in our lives just to reach something and uh, I'm just gonna show some stages how we fight with our shadows let's say it uh, like that and how we reach what we want to reach at the end so I really want to bring a lot of mystery, a lot of magic, maybe a little fairy tale to the Eurovision world. I feel that we may need that this year. I, l I, I really love that. I love when you can connect those two things. And um, what, what kind of like, um, what Eurovision song this year is lyrically maybe one of your favorites? Um, Apart from yours, obviously, <laughs> but what 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 would you say might be lyrically? Like, n n let's not look at the song and everything, but like, yeah. Okay, that's a good question. Um, maybe I need, I just I need uh, 
few seconds. Let me let me think. I really like a uh, Swiss song, The Code. It's also about taking lead in your life, about breaking something like the code to something. I I think it's uh, also very like metaphorically good. And there's a symbol in it. Um, what else? Um, they're very powerful. There are many like powerful songs this year. They are about uh, about fighting. Uh, this is good. I think I feel that we need a lot of power. I feel that I feel that as well. Yeah, that that's the kind of overarching theme. It's like we're all struggling with some identities and everything. And how do you reach the top of the tower? And I I really I really like that. And if if there's someone else who like. Uh, a younger artist like that wants to a newer that wants to go to your vision like is there any advice that you would give from a songwriting perspective just to uh, try to listen to yourself as much as you can and because uh, it's, it's songwriting is always a reflection of what you feel what you think what's just inside of you and it's the most authentic when you go with yourself, when you just follow that voice, when you follow this words, some and maybe also uh, the visuals, the images that uh, just comes to you when you write. So I would just, uh, I would just tell to just to follow your your visions, even they're super crazy. You need to go with that. You need to follow that. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I can't wait to see your performance tonight and your performance in Eurovision. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was lovely.